Welcome back to my Let's Play for Tales of the Abyss. I suppose it's time to go exploring a little bit. Huh. Well, hopefully we can't get into too much trouble here. We'll see. Huh? What's that? It's a phone stone. They're making it glow by heating it. They must use it for lighting here. Phone stones are those glass rocks floating up in the sky, right? Phone stones are sacred stones created when the score is red. Don't call them glass. Well, if they're so sacred, why are they using it as a light bulb? I mean, come on. Who knows makes sacred light bulbs? <sighs> all right, all right. You got that right. I'm all right, all right with you treating it like a glass orb. Because let's face it, how sacred can it be, really? Jeez. Sacred light bulbs. I mean, come on. God, recruit Tony, did you do it again? Jeez. What, are you implying he's doing something he shouldn't be doing? I, I, honestly, I don't want to know what she's trying to imply with that comment. Sounds like he's, like, touching himself or something, you know? I, I'm sorry. Yeah, what were you doing? I wanted to become a phonist, so I was practicing phonic arts. Phonic arts are big in our country, so a soldier who can't use them is an embarrassment to his entire regiment. Hmm. How do you use phonic arts anyway? Can I use it too? Well, first off, you take faunus from the fawn belt into your body and then collide your fanon, your fawn frequency with their own, generating special power. Okay, you're already starting to lose me, man. The fawn bell is a layer of faunons that surrounds the planet. There are six fawn elements in all. Wait. Just six? Why not seven? You know, like seven deadly sins? Um. I guess maybe they're going for the six elements of harmony. <laughs> By opening your body's fawn slots, you draw in faunons and then join them together using a fawn verse. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Okay, basically a phonic arts uses a spell. A fawn verse to control elemental powers called faunins. It's very, very difficult. Only the best can do it. Sadly, I'm not among them. Colonel Jade can do it as if it was nothing. He's a genius. Oh, that's nice. I'll just stick to physical skills then. You know, there's the kind of arts I can really master. Plus, magic almost always gets you in trouble in games like this anyway. It's like the root of all evil in the first, like, East games. Can I read any of these books? No! Damn you and your lack of world-building game! I mean, come on! If you have books on a shelf, you should be able to read one. Take a note from the Wild Arms series. <sighs> that was so disappointing. Oh, let's see. What else is left? Anyone else in, on this ship worth talking to? I'm sorry for getting you involved in this. Yeah, you better be sorry. No kidding. If you'd at least tell me what's going on. I'm guessing we're not going to get an answer to that. I'm afraid I'm influencing the situation as well. That's why Jade is being so cautious. Because the Order of Lorelei is acting as a go-between? Yes, that's part of it, but I'm afraid I can't tell you yet. This is such a pain. Got that right. It'd be easier to make a decision if I knew what was going on. Okay. Well, well, Luke. A lovely lady on each arm. Uh, I'd say one arm, and then we got a cute little girl on the other. Oh, Colonel. Jeez, don't let it go to your head, little girl. I, I'm not. We're not. A couple. You're right. We're not. 
He's not talking about you. He must mean Annis and Mew. But Master, I'm a boy! You sure as hell don't sound like one. Eh, sounds like a young boy to me. Now, now, settle down. By the way, what's this about a kidnapping you mentioned earlier? How should I know? You people from Malkuth are the ones who kidnapped me. Well, I'm afraid I don't know anything about it. Did it happen during the previous Emperor's reign? Huh, beats me. Thanks to that, I lost all my childhood memories. I'm sure you have your grievances, but I do hope that we can obtain your cooperation. Well, it's not like I have a choice in the matter, do I? Well, guess we'll head up to the next level. Huh, let's see. Where's this door lead? Well, we found another save point. But we can't go to the field because we can't leave the ship, darn it. Well, that's a dead end. Okay. Ah, uh, I can't climb it. Who says I can't do maintenance on the deck? For some reason, I thought this ship was bigger than that. I need a lot more than 100 people to basically operate this thing. Heck, they have less than 100 people. Okay, so we can go over land and water. So basically, it's a super ship. And I can't go to the bridge because state secrets. I can't even get close to whatever this place is. Probably. Oh, they're gonna let me down here. Interesting. So I guess we gotta go even further down. What's it lead to? Let's see. I don't see anything of just here. I guess this is a gun. So I guess this is allows to lead to turret maintenance. Man, that's kind of boring. Well, I guess we should head back to our room and talk with the colonel. And I agree to help him out, because I'm guessing that's our only option. Really, I mean, what else are we going to do? Sit on the ship all day? That'd be kind of boring, wouldn't it? And I don't like boring. Because it's boring. You know, I want to do stuff. Ah. Uh. It's not really a door. Or if it is, it's one I can't open. Okay, back underneath the light of the sacred light bulbs. Okay. Guess we can talk to that one soldier and tell him we're interested in helping him out. Yeah, it's not like there's anything else to do. Got that right. Probably not, because that's just Luke's way. He's too unserious to care about anything. They have a weird love hate relationship, don't they? Small localized conflicts have broken out recently. It's likely those will soon escalate into full scale war. After all, the truce for the Hawk War is only 15 years old. Emperor Peony has written a letter proposing a formal peace treaty. They requested my aid as a neutral ambassador. If that's the case, then why do people think you've gone missing? Master Van went looking for you, you know. That's due to matters within the Order of Lorelei. A conflict is unfolding between the reformist Phone Master faction centered around Ion and the conservative Grand Maestro faction, centered around Grand Maestro Moe's. Moe's is looking for a war. I managed to escape from Moe's custody with the help of the Malkuth military. Phone Master Ion, there must be some mistake. Grand Maestro Moe's would never desire such a thing. Moe's prays only for the fulfillment of the score. Tyr, you're with the Grand Maestro faction? 
No way. I'm neutral. Yulia's score is important, but so are the phone master's wishes. Hey guys, hello. You want to slow down so I can follow? My apologies. I'd forgotten the young master here hasn't a clue about the world around him. What did you say? Regardless of the state of affairs within the Order, I must deliver this letter to Kimlaska. But we are the soldiers of an enemy nation. Even as emissaries of peace, it won't be easy for us to cross the border. If we delay, the Grand Maestro faction will catch up with us and interfere. That is why we need your help. Well, really, we just need your social status. Oh, I'm hurt, Gramps. Is that all I'm good for? And didn't anyone ever teach you to bow your head in respect when asking someone for a favor? Don't act like that, Luke. You don't want a war either, do you? Would you shut up already? Well? <sighs> Commander. Master Luke, please grant us your aid. Man, do you have any pride? None so cheap as to be shaken by something as petty as this, sir. Fine, whatever. You just need me to talk to my uncle, right? You have my deepest gratitude. Now, by your leave, Master Luke, I must attend to other matters. Stop calling me Master. Coming from you, it's just wrong. As you wish, Master Luke. Ah, uh, trying to stick it to him, huh? Well, he'll get over it soon enough, I'm sure. Jeez. It's not what we're going to do. If you're on an important mission like this, why the heck did you get involved in the mess at Endgave? Yeah, we've been over that. Is it that important, though, that you're willing to risk a war over them? Oh, well, that makes more sense now. The letter was late. I can't say it's a bad thing he's sticking his neck out. It's kind of his job. Do you? Oh, they love to fight, okay? This is the way they're gonna develop their relationship at some point. They fight like an old married couple. At least by anime logic. Some air, huh? Well, no. Now where are we gonna go? Where can we finally get off the ship? Okay, is he gonna load? Yes. Do you need something? Are we under attack? Sounds like it. What should we do? Well, fight back, obviously. Bridge, what's going on? A large flock of griffins 20 kilometers ahead. Total number unknown. Contact in approximately 10 minutes. Come in. Requesting permission to open fire with all cannons. You're the captain. The ship is yours. Understood, sir. Large swarm of monsters 20 kilometers ahead. All hands, battle stations! Repeat, all hands, battle stations! You three, return to your cabin. Huh? It's just some monsters. Griffins don't normally work in groups. It's dangerous when monsters act unusually. Yeah, when monsters act unusual, it usually means they're solely controlling them somewhere. Which makes them even more dangerous than normal. Wrong. What the heck just happened? He said 10 minutes. That was like 15, 20 seconds at most. Ligers are dropping from the Griffins. They're clinging to the hull and attacking. 
So what, the Griffins speed up or something? Well, apparently the captain's dead. Bridge, respond. Bridge. Lagers are those monsters we killed at the Cheagles place, right? Yes. You're kidding. There's a whole horde of those things here? We're dead if we stay on this ship. Let me off of this thing. Stop. It's dangerous to go outside now. It's dangerous to stay inside, too. What's your point? That's right. Oh, shit. Who on earth are you? Imperial forces, or maybe just Jade the Necromancer. Oh, he's a necromancer by trade? I didn't know that. Nice. Jade the Necromancer? You? Well, well. It seems I'm famous. I imagine it's about anyone that practiced. This necromancy would be famous in a short amount of time. I mean, come on. You're messing with the bodies of the dead and stuff like that. People tend to notice. Rumors have spread far and wide how you scavenge corpses after every battle. Oh, but my stories have nothing on yours, sir. Largo the Black Lion, one of the six god generals of the Oracle Knights. <laughs> I've been waiting for a chance to cross blades with you. But unfortunately, right now, I must retrieve Bone Master Ion. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Hey, don't move, unless you want this boy's head to roll. <sighs> Jade the Necromancer, letting you go now will only mean trouble later. Do you think you can kill me by yourself? If I seal your phonic arts. A phone slot seal? I brought that here to seal the Phone Master's phonic arts. I didn't expect to wind up using it like this. Mew, fifth phone on at the ceiling. Hurry! Y yes, sir! Now, Annis, get Ion. I'm on it. I trust you know where to meet. Don't worry. Oh, no, you don't. He stabbed him. Annis will take care of Ion. We'll take back the bridge. But your arts are sealed. Indeed. It's likely to take several months to fully undo this phone slot seal. But as long as we have your hymns and Luke's sword, we can still take back the Tartarus. All right, Luke, let's go. Luke! Right. Well, at least we didn't have to fight him. That would have sucked. I'm sure he'll be back, though. That Largo, however, is he dead? There's no way he died that easily. Huh. So our enemies are free to kill us, but we can't... We shouldn't spill their lives or whatever? Okay. Luke, this isn't a simple training exercise. We can't afford to worry about the lies of our enemies. <sighs> Don't worry, I wasn't worried about them to begin with. <laughs> Somehow, though, I doubt we can defeat a god general. You know, considering he's got god in his name. In a cutscene. 
Unless he was the weakest god general there ever was that was a god general. <laughs> well, I suppose we can climb up the ladder. Try to make our way to the bridge, I guess. Well, I figured we'd get caught. It was worth trying to run away. Griffins. Okay. Still use energy blasts here. Go figure. Okay. Well, that takes care of one. Jeez. Yeah, I remember the guard in this game. Otherwise, I'm gonna die horribly. I imagine he's okay. I mean, he just has his power sealed up. Hmm. You mean the Fawn Slot seal? Well, I expect I can still manage better than someone who's never been on the battlefield. <laughs> so there's no need to worry. Jeez. You know, at times like this, he can still throw crap at Luke. Actually, I'm starting to like the guy. Because screw Luke. Seriously. He's such a massive jerk nozzle. Uh, I guess in the words of some, he's a douche canoe. He never stops. We're not, huh? Oh, jeez. Then the enemies respond. Crap! Well, this is going to be a train. Jeez. Stop hitting me. Got him. Well, at least someone reached level 8. Well, use the ladder. Jeez. It's making that look hard. Like, how am I supposed to get on this thing? Like, it's not difficult. Just press X at the right time. Oh, I can go back down, right? I think I'm going to save, because there's probably going to be a major boss battle on the bridge. Plus, this way I can try and train down here, I suppose. Still can't leave, though, right? Yep. Well, I'm going to stop here. Next time, we can try and get something done that'll actually move the story forward besides some cutscenes. Until then, see ya.